office space number two. Here it is. Let's get it. Oh, yeah. Come on, man. This is the stock room. You know what it feels like right now? It feels like growth. Yes. Evolution. You know, oh, come on, man. man. Come on, bro. <laughs> And I was thinking this spot here, we could use it as like a photo shoot area. So we'll get oh, the drink. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we get different backdrops. Yeah, exactly. So let's say like, I got the lights already too. You or like, you know, Alexis Malik they wanna shoot some stuff. Oh, bro. You know, multi purpose, baby. Multi purpose. Glasses back on. Y'all oh, no, no, no. just came out of nowhere. Come on, man. Niggas it's cold outside. We got the Gore Tex on, you know what I'm saying? I'm not, okay, yeah, with that nice brown, man. man. With the brown door face. Beef and broccoli going Beef on. Beef broccoli going on. <laughs> on. And I was like, oh, it's right here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because they, they said that you can request anything. We can put like a door right there. So you basically. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. I love the, the info cards and the detail. Yeah, you know, we had to. Crazy. Thank you, bro. Break them in. I'll break them in. Yeah, once you break them in. Pop these on. Like these, like little hardware details you add yeah. on, like a like a more like simpler silhouette. Right. So sick. That's what I like. I like those like little pops, you know. Yeah, exactly. I do something that kind of differentiates us from you know everybody mm -hmm. else, I guess. Yeah. So the hiking and you know just the eyelids and the back zipper. Dude, like I've been trying to find like derbies too, like uh -huh. just but like I. You don't see much with like the detailing with the hardware, you know what yes, I mean? Yes, so yes, That's yes. why I like to focus on this. Yeah, it's crazy. so this is, this is honestly one of our more like popular models. Yeah, yeah. People just like it because it's kind of steps up the, the classic. Oh, you feel great, man. It's like the little sticky thing under, but no, no, I'll take that off after. Thank you, gang. Thank you, gang. Thank you, gang. Oh, All right, man. Yes. Um, you, you got some to order too, right? Yeah, that should get to you pretty soon. You let me so this is a collaboration with Issei and Aquila. It's like a well-known glasses brand. And uh, we have two models here. Are these actually like uh, fall winter or how does that work for glasses? Um, or you just drop it's it like, like I, don't, I don't know if there's like a season attached yeah, to yeah, I mean, yeah, We, we yeah, drop yeah. them like in the summertime, but um. Countryside, like three hours outside of Seoul, to this like little like rural village, um, and we met this uh, this grandma. She's like seventy five, yeah. but she's been doing newbie stitching okay. for like forty years. So that's she's, like she's like the top artisan. Okay. So like I did a whole mini doc on her really? to like kind of like talk about that's her really life, yeah. and the technique, and all that. And you kind of bridging it into Japanese. Yeah, yeah, right. So like the way that she does it is she hand she hand stitches everything. Like this is more modernized where it's okay. a machine done. Machine right, right. So it's like a modern contemporary version yeah, of what yeah. her craft is. But originally, it's just like hand stitch every does, single line. Does it look any different than this one? Yeah, for sure. Like, like I mean, on this, I like this better because like the, the sewing stitch is very tight and yeah. small and almost invisible. Right. So it yeah, just exactly. creates like the it texture. Just, yeah. Right. So that's so modern to me. Oh, but then for her, you see like you, can the, see, the, you see the threading. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Clean man, let's go on you dude. Stop man. Yeah. I like to buy a lot of black stuff, but yeah. like I want like some more texture. Facts, yeah, you know that's saying? the thing. Like, yeah. If I'm gonna buy more black clothes, like let me have a little bit more texture. No hundred percent. Like, yeah. Some you know, some design details yeah, yeah. versus just like a black work jacket. Yeah. This is like my favorite piece from, from the brand so far. So what prompted the, I guess, the furniture ideas? I mean, we've been doing, so we did all the furniture for the show. Yeah, I remember you right? were explaining this one. Yeah. yeah, I just feel like, it, first of all, it looked mad fun just to do something outside of the Yeah. Fashion. One of my homies has like a really dope, like, 
Okay, so you guys kind of like are partnering up together? Yeah, so I set them up and I want to do something, but... The gray is nice, man. I know it's hard for people to wear gray, but like, this is it looks good. Yeah. Alright, so this is exactly the same material, the newbie material, but just, I guess, the worker's jacket variation. Once again, fantastic work, bro. This is incredible, bro. So, yeah. sued a lot by uh, different companies were suing them. So they did like a uh, kind of a twisty version of so there's oh wow there's the foam runners there. Converse. Converse, the superstars and then the Jordan ones. I think this is such an eyesore. <laughs> like seriously this is an eyesore. This is supposed to be jail? Dang. Nah. Yeah, well, she's holding the bags too. Yeah, it is actually supposed to be good though. I don't know, man. It's kind of crazy. Wow, interesting. Like, this is so random, bro. Like, this is so, so random. This is a thing from like Boston Dynamics. You know Boston Dynamics? They have like the we had a lot. Uh, this is pretty much our future. Hey. Yo. Damn, they got RM here. Do you know people in BTS? They got Damn. Is that John Cook? Do you know what BTS is basically going to the military? So it's almost like they're making a Game Boy game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is this the BTS game? Yeah, the BTS game. That's cr it's an actual game and you can play that? Yo, nah. Oh, this is even a song, dude. Playing the official BTS video game. Available now, so you can actually buy the game. Well, Dynamite? You can hear like the... Yeah, this is interesting, man. So you can pick up your inventory, your folding chair, your Oh, it's the actual gallery of here. Yeah. Oh. And then you can pick up. Let's pick up this one. Buy chair. Push chair. Push the chair. How you sit on it. Sit down. Alright, what's good gang? Thanksgiving day. Watching Portugal versus Ghana. This is not looking good, man. I hope I hope Ghana can win, man. You know, shout out to my people, Ivory Coast, Ghana. If anybody's watching from those countries, that's that's my people. I wanna stop playing. Stop playing with them. Dang! Oh nah. Boo, bro. Boo. That ain't it. Oh, hell nah. Mute these people. It's Thanksgiving in America. Everybody's off. I'm at the crib doing some cleanup. As you can see, the mess here. Uh, but I quickly want to show you guys something. So just give me a second. This is a Junior Watanabe blazer. A couple months ago, when I did the Dover Street vlog with my dear friend Ken, I tried this on the video. Ever since that video, I've always been going back to it and just watching it and kind of seeing how cool it was looking. So. Long story short, we got the Junior Blazer. Look at all the beautiful details. It has almost like a scarecrow kind of distressing to it. Looks very, very interesting. And then peep the inside, like, come on. All right, peep this, guys. I found this for 10 bucks. We got the Dr. Doom tie. Like, can you not, bro? Like, it's right here. I'm pulling up to any 
baby shower, any wedding, y'all can invite me, bro. As long as you guys accept the Dr. Doom tie, I'm pulling up. You feel me? Yeah, see, this is what I need to do. Yeah, something like that. So, for the lines, should we leave it curved or should it be straight? I think it should be curved. I yeah, that's why I was having a conversation with him about the. It should just connect like right here and really, like, the whole angle of here should change. It should be an entire encasing. Oh, over okay. I see what you mean. Because so you see how you did, like, a little, like, yeah. dip in here? So, imagine, oh, so imagine this yeah. right now as we have it in design as the base. Okay, so just for reference. It will be the canvas below the toe cap, for example, because we're gonna do the whole rubber right here. Yeah, it's like entirely one one continuous piece. Exactly. So this piece right now, I want you to think of it as cut off right here. It doesn't um, even go through yet. Right. So from right here, we can do that first. Whatever. It basically dips in like that, and it becomes one uniform piece, versus the way that you All did the way it across. It almost, it almost dips like. You see this section here? Mm -hmm. It almost adds to oh, this section. Okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? Versus like... Yeah, this is a little smaller. Yeah. So this, essentially, this part of the shoe, like, it takes this piece right here where the laces are, I think, and it goes like that. So like... Mm -mm. Yeah. Mm, where the fuck had it somewhere? <sighs> right before the, the the eyelids so it doesn't go over the eyelids it goes like under it type shit so like it starts like right here and then whoop. so it's like from this second line that you started oh, so it started from right here. under like here so it, it balloons over yeah and then obviously like the outsole you make it you make this much thicker essentially what we're trying to do is that for 2023 we're going to kind of redesign this shoe entirely. Firstly, what we're tackling is just the outsole. Step away from the Rick Owens aesthetic, which this shoe obviously has a lot of. So we're reworking the entire shoe from the ground up. This is in theory how it should look. So it's more of like a... These are all the iterations that yeah, we've been trying. Obviously, like an exaggerated outsole. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I don't really know how to like describe this to somebody. Yeah, that asks me. I guess the narrative a lot for the shoe. It just like kind of it's when the shoe is gonna be complete. It's gonna be its own thing. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Obviously, like the main inspo will be a Converse All Star. Because to me, to this day, it's still Best my shoe ever. greatest shoe ever made. No cap. Facts. Greatest shoe ever made. So I'm like. I want to get to a point where, like, I create a shoe that it's on that level, on me. that level that you can literally wear for the next five, ten years. You know what I'm saying? You know, not knocking like shoes like the Mihara and all that, but I feel like it's just <laughs> very. The Mihara is a it very. It would never replace the, the exactly, original. exactly. Like literally never. Like it's a cool shoe for the moment. It's fun. It's it looks different, but. 10, 15 years down the line, like, are you still gonna wear that? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's a very, um, just the moment of the trend that we're in right now. Exactly. It's not exactly. really like something I see lasting forever. So, you know, as much as I wanna do a crazy shoe, I just want it to be timeless. I want all the shoes to be timeless. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want it to be like, oh, this is a cool trend now or this is fun now, but it doesn't like t stand the test of time. Yeah. Yeah. So, in a way, if we can shoot that jacket with some sort of like, 3M to kind of really show off the 3M. I don't know what technique obviously we can use for that. I think for flashes you could use with flash mm -hmm. basically. Right. And I feel like the way you did it, you could actually like if you shoot it a little bit darker. Yeah. Especially like at night or something, you could get like some flash photo right. and it would pop up. And or it, you could just shine with the, the Yeah, TV. yeah. We can get like a big flashlight, whatever, mm -hmm. and then go crazy with that. Yeah. Um, is there a way to perfectly kind of shoot both the pants and the jacket like could we could we see these like perfectly with like some good lighting 
really want to show like this is just me I, I don't know what you guys are thinking but if you want to show like the shape and everything I feel like the white background would do yeah, the white background would be better right but instead if you wanted like a cool picture to like introduce to the world then this yeah is, like, that's you that's have to shoot it out I was thinking yeah. of like you get in computer parts just like all over the room and there's just a dude building a computer like putting shit together just right so like literally phones, taking pictures of him just doing it Oh, what is Gucci, guys? What is going on? I feel like I don't do enough of these like sit down item showcase videos. Um, but yeah, today's the day. Let's talk about clothes. All right, guys, so today we're gonna keep it fairly simple. I'm just gonna show you guys a couple of items that I personally wear during the fall slash, I guess, winter season. This is not an essentials video or anything in that sorts. I feel like this is just items that I picked up for myself. You guys do like anything feature today you know definitely incorporate them into your own personal wardrobes surprisingly a lot of the things i picked up in today's video have been purchased months ago i'm like more of a fall winter guy so even during the summertime i'm already kind of picking out and choosing uh what i want to wear for the fall finally finally happy that i'm able to wear everything as i don't know summertime for me is just t-shirt denims a cap call it a day i don't really dress too much for the summertime uh, but fall winter that's where i really get to enjoy kind of layering and just wearing different type of jackets and all that good stuff all right so let's begin so for our very first item this is from the brand o files and it's like a padded flannel jacket this has been something that i've been wearing religiously as soon as it started getting cold i just kind of put this on and never took it off. Uh, this is Oscar's brand, if you guys don't know. So overall, this is just a very simplistic flannel jacket. Love the colors, love that it has this almost kind of vintage-y, kind of worn-in look to it. I'm not sure if you can see the fabric kind of almost pilling, but it's made purposely. It fits really nice, this is a size medium. I can wear like a hoodie under it, and overall, just a really comfortable, good fall jacket. So. Been really enjoying this jacket from Old Files. Check them out. If so, I will definitely be putting a link in the description. Um, and yeah, definitely check it out. Next set of items right here, we have the, I think, Yeti fleece from the brand Rotten. Once again, this is a fellow content creator, you know, TikToker, Instagrammer, all that good stuff. But this is his brand called Rotten. I think it's Rotten Closet, if I'm not mistaken. He sent this to me months ago i think i got this in like april or may uh, but now is finally the time to take it out and it's been i guess my fleece of choice i just really love the way it looks it doesn't have that conventional kind of patagonia look to it it almost has like a mix between a bomber jacket and you know traditional fleece different panels here and just the way that it, the cut is a little bit cropped on the body open extended neckline with all the little zipper hardware. And once again, a beautiful piece, very comfortable. And uh, although he sent two colorways, I feel like the black one has been the one of my choice. I've been wearing this quite a lot as well. I feel like this is a very easy item to style. You know, you can just simply wear a pair of trousers, denim, whatever the case may be, put a hoodie over, beanie, cap, and call it a day. So this is the Yeti fleece from Rotten Closet. Shout out Ryan again. We do have his Morph Mules, which I'll be showing in an upcoming video. For now, I'm just really talking about all the fall, winter related type of garments. And this one is here. Let me show you guys the second colorway. I love this mix. It's like a gray slash kind of beige. Not really colors that you'd normally mix together, but it looks quite nice. And yes, all the same details. Uh, but just this different colorway. This one right here, this, I'm gonna stand for this because this is one of my favorite jackets I've bought as of late. And I'm not sure the exact name of it, I'm not sure if the tag says it, but uh, this is a leather jacket from Our Legacy. It has this really cool kind of zipper details in the front, the butterfly motif on the arm, and it's kind of like your traditional biker worker's jacket, but it does have this little cool flap in the front. Big industrial heavy duty zippers. Uh, the black is fairly simple, but just this jacket fits beautifully. I think the first TikTok I filmed, sorry for not being on TikTok. I just, I can't do it. First TikTok, I had this jacket on and to this day, I love it so, so much. Can't really see this leaving my closet anytime soon. Very heavy. 
lambskin material and just overall the construction quality just the details and everything put together so it has a nice crop to it fits like a standard i guess work jacket teeth and the combination of all of this going on makes it such a beautiful beautiful jacket so here we go this is the r legacy we'll call it the butterfly jacket uh but yes okay so right here we have a jacket from heliot emil and uh, this is my most recent acquisition it's a traditional bomber jacket but it has almost these elongated arms and cropped in the body it fits a little bit like the creper jacket i showcased a couple months ago in the video this has more of a similar fit to that the color is a little bit more muted so it's not as deep of a green almost like a washed out and just overall the double zippers all the paneling the eyelets all around the jacket and uh, yeah just fits beautifully you guys are gonna see in the b-roll footage how it fits on body but the jacket has such a unique fit to it it does not fit like a traditional bomber jacket once again a little bit more exaggerated and almost vet mall like but i really really like it and uh yeah just all these crazy rivets and line work and this kind of like dark it looks almost like a spray all around the arm and it's just like gives it such a unique look to it so this is the jacket from Heliot Emil. all right so continuing on to the last jacket right here we have a gray kind of herringbone coat from kenzo very very long more traditional style coat love the way the kind of weaving looks it has a marled kind of gray and white mixture to it the kenzo tag on the inside and one thing that i noticed is that i just wanted to have a more traditional looking coat i didn't want it to have any kind of crazy lines whatsoever i wanted more of a i guess basic just everyday uh, type of thing i could wear which this one fills it perfectly and although i haven't really been big on nigo's collection with kenzo i feel like it's just a little bit too colorful for myself there's certain pieces like this or one pair of shoes that I'm gonna showcase in a few minutes that really kind of just stuck with me and uh, yeah, really, really appreciate how it looks. Very traditional in the sense when it comes to just a coat, uh, but overall good quality, fits really nice, perfect length and it's a good kind of everyday, more like formal piece uh, whenever you wanna look a little bit more dressed up. All right, so now we are gonna be talking about footwear. We only have three pairs of shoes. Very stoked about all three. And uh, yeah, let's just jump into them. Uh, so starting with Boots, this is from the brand C2H4. So prior to purchasing these, I didn't really know too much about the brand. All I know is that I think they're located in Shanghai and they focus a lot on utilitarian looks. The way these boots look with this big metal hardware in the back. Um, really, really unique take on a hiking boot. And as you can see on the side, it does feature the Vibram outsole so this is more of like the hiking iteration of the outsoles not too much to say about these it's a very good pair of like boots for winter so i think these are waterproof don't really quote me on that other details i can talk about is on on the inside there's just like this neoprene kind of inner lining it helps in any way uh but yeah overall just a really beautiful crafted pair of boots so the name of this specific model is called the bosun or Bo bosun and they do feature a higher cut if you guys want the, I guess, boot variant of the shoe. But all together, really cool shoe, very comfortable. It's like an easy kind of snow day type of shoe. Overall, just a really neat pair of shoes. And uh, here you go. All right, so for my second pair of shoes right here, we have a pair of Vism FBTs. This was an eBay acquisition. It's crazy to think that if you type in Vism FBTs on like eBay or Grails, there's pairs going for dirt cheap. So if you guys are into this, definitely check out those uh, websites. But I think this one I bought it for like less than $200 and couldn't be happier. This is like the forest or like emerald green iteration. Fringes and it has this little cool stitch patterns on it. And man, I've been really, really happy about these. I've been wearing them so, so much. Vism FBTs, once again. If you guys have been on the channel for the past two, three years, 
I've been really talking and championing these shoes. They're still one of my favorite shoes ever made. And it sucks. I don't I don't wanna say it sucks because you know everybody has their personal tastes. Uh, but it's just it doesn't get the recognition it deserves. I feel like this is such a beautifully crafted shoe. Looks amazing with everything. And uh, yeah, just this moccasin type of style isn't really what people are wearing nowadays, but shit. I'll take every single pair on eBay, if anything. Y'all can leave it for me, man. I'll, I'll, I'll really take these, but not so much to talk about these. I'm not even sure what year they came out in, uh, but I remember seeing this photo on like Pinterest and finally getting to own a pair is really, really cool. So right here, Vism FBTs and this kind of green, emerald green colorway. Let's keep it moving. All right, so last but not least, let's talk about these boots from Kenzo. These, according to the website, are called the Suede Lace-Up Boots. And wow, look at these. Look at these. This was an item that I've been eyeing ever since I've seen them on the website. Couldn't bring myself to pay the 900 slash almost $1,000 for this pair of boots. Fortunately for myself, Kenzo right now is going through an entire sale. They're liquidating the entire season, uh, hence the reason why I picked up the coat as well as these boots. And it ran, I think, more than half. So I think it was like 400, I think. Um, still a little bit steep for a pair of boots like this, but, but compared to the $980 retail price tag, uh, yeah, this is more than a steal. I'm kind of like testing out uh, desert boots and things like that. And I want to delve myself more into this style and seeing if that's something for myself or this is just like a one of one type of thing that I enjoy. Um, so overall, I can just say the construction is beautiful. The suede feels really premium. Uh, it also features its own Kenzo branded zipper, the Kenzo stamp on the top, as well as the leather laces. And it also features a crepe outsole. Gives a little height. I think this is about two inches. So, you know, for all you short kings or whatever. That's why I've seen Nigo. Nigo's been religiously wearing this because it gives him a little, a little boost, you know what I'm saying? But nonetheless, beautiful pair of boots. This is from Kenzo, first season. If you guys are looking for any of these things right now, I think Essence has them for sale. Uh, so definitely check it out. This is not a branded video or anything in that regards. Just telling you guys that. So definitely pick these up if you're looking for something similar. Um, and yeah. All right, so that was everything I picked up for, I guess, the fall season. It's finally the time to wear everything, so I've been enjoying the hell out of that. And uh, yeah, if you guys have any questions whatsoever, let me know in the comments down below. If there's anything you guys wanna see next, once again, also let me know. And uh, next week's video is gonna be a lot of fun. I'm basically gonna be talking about all of my friends' brands. I already have the title of the video. It's gonna be called, My Friends Make Cool Shit. Maybe not put the shit because of you know YouTube and all that, but it's gonna be My Friends Make Cool Stuff. And I'll just basically sit down, go over a lot of things that I've received from my friends and just show off how creative uh, people around me are and, and just share it with the audience. So very excited for that. That's gonna come out next week. More content on the way. I'm trying to bring this camera everywhere I go just to document like the life and just every day for me. This is gonna be, I guess, the end of the video. I really filmed so much prior. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Peace.